adults, but often those with developmental challenges are sidelined in society, and that isolation can be tough mentally. But we found a project that's bringing the voices of those with autism into our everyday conversations. In the hustle and bustle of taking the train, you just might miss it. But listen carefully, and it's hard not to smile. Hi, my name is Emmanuel. Please help us repeat Marta, please. Please don't let her. Hope you'll enjoy your ride. If you know one thing about seven-year-old Emmanuel Stevens, it's that he loves trains. What I like about trains is that it goes fast. It goes under the tunnels. It goes through the we get to see the city, the conductor drives the train, and I think that's it. Emmanuel has autism, and for many kids like him, trains and other very complex engineering systems are much more than mundane. Woke up to Marta and enjoy your trip. They're a playground for learning and interacting. And now, Emmanuel is even more excited about his favorite spot, because he and other kids and young adults with autism recorded announcements for the passengers. Hey, my name's Devin, and I love trains. Help us keep Marta Green. These announcements are part of a nationwide effort called the Autism Transit Project. They're playing on Marta here in Atlanta, in the subways of New York, and in trains in San Francisco, New Jersey, and Washington, D.C. For your safety, when traveling with a bicycle, scooter, stroller, or heavy luggage, avoid using the escalators. Every announcement is to make sure the voices of those with autism are heard and included. Oftentimes, kids with autism, no matter what level on the spectrum they're on, are excluded and misunderstood, um, including Emmanuel. But this project has afforded a number of individuals throughout the country an opportunity to show I am unique, I'm special, I'm versatile, I'm capable. The project was started by Jonathan Trichter, who says it's just one step toward the larger goal. It's to incorporate neurodiverse individuals into civic society and allow them to experience and participate in the human experience at a fuller level. And it's important because just 10 or 15 years ago, we were warehousing a lot of these children as opposed to educating them. Trichter hopes more awareness will create more opportunities and jobs for those with autism, and it already has for Travail Sinclair, who is now interning with Marta. You know, you could work here too. I am. Travail had his own announcement in the project too. I love it. The people here are absolutely wonderful. They have supported me very well in teaching me how the system works. And above all, it's just really good for someone like me with autism that needs a lot more of that guidance. Guidance that isn't always given from society, but to those living with autism, it's what makes both families and kids know they're part of the community. And to have my son do announcements here is just, and the wonderful other children and young adults that are on the announcement, it just, it warms my heart. Yes. I bet it yes, does. It does. <laughs> and if you hadn't noticed already, Emmanuel is proving the project works. He's feeling and seeing acceptance all around him. Oh, you got some applause? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It feels like, it just feels like it's a part. And we all can join in on Emmanuel's party by making time to notice the little things. Hope you enjoy your ride. That aren't so little at all. Emmanuel sure made us smile, and they're hoping to bring the Autism Transit Project global next year. I'm Alexa Liako. Stay with us because the news continues right here on Scripps News.